three, two, one. All right, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this guided reading, this guided message for Kim Porter. Okay, her energy is resonating like a mug. I keep trying to say not now, and it keeps saying, get up. Stop playing with me. All right. So, as I always say, you guys, energy does not die. There is a message that she's trying to get out. So, let's tap in and see and hear what it is. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself, okay? All right. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Okay. Spirit keeps telling me, and if you don't know, now you know. You know. You know very well. Uh, okay so she's like if you don't know now you know baby let's get into it so she is definitely acknowledging that there is some lipstick on a pig there's denial artificial um artificiality excuse me cover up superficiality she's like there's foolishness in this energy look pay attention she's like look closer look deeper there's lipstick on a pig okay she's also acknowledging subconsciously that everyone needs to be very calm at this time do some deep breathing have some patience and some compassion because there are a lot of things that are about to happen there's this huge solar plexus energy of like the universe she's just standing in front of it and saying all of this is coming together like a piece a piece the missing piece to the puzzle thank you and this has to do with passion but it also has to do with a water sign or could just be emotional like she's just like you know what this is the time to take some deep breath thank you spirit because it's about to happen you guys are going to take a closer look and you're going to see exactly what has been happening now spirit is also acknowledging that there is this energy what this is about is someone who is loafing someone who has no energy someone who has a false start no response and disinterest at this time and they are she's like this is the person this is the energy energy that I'm asking you to take a closer look at now when I see black it doesn't make you feel like um, protection but there's a layer of energy now <laughs> spirit is also acknowledging that you might see this person wearing black this person is black this is just the energy that comes across if you've seen my readings before you've heard me read on this card but every time I read on this card when I'm, when it comes to a different energy I have to accept the download I have to respect the download this is the download this person is black Okay, could be like figuratively, could be literal, but this person is black. Okay, all right, and there's something else that she wants to say in regards to that. Um, yep, see, she's acknowledging, like, yep, this is about to come out. This is this is divine intervention, this is, is divinely intervened by spirit, by source, by the universe. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe, this has to do with matters of the heart, but she's acknowledging that it's bubbling at the belly and bubbling at the throat. And until you do right by her, it's not going to make sense to you. Whomever she is talking to is always going to pop off because she's like the truth shall set you free now you're in a chokehold okay communication honesty courage sharing revelations surprise news texts and a phone call so there's texts there's phone calls there's a lot of very very factual information that's going to come out something that cannot be denied thank you spirit all right Kim Porter. Thank you. Wow. That popped out there. Um, this is interesting because Heath Ledger was an actor, was he not? I do see these clouds here and it feels like when the dust when the dust settles is what Spirit is telling me. But there's this face of the Joker. So whomever she's trying to connect this energy to, thank you Spirit, has to deal with someone who could have been wearing a Joker mask or wears a mask as a Joker, has two faces, could also be seen as a Gemini energy, air sign now that i'm seeing this but the show must go on oh okay break it down please so there is um this energy has a natural ability to become whoever you want to be in any situation quite easily so this person can wear a mask and can change and interchange into whomever they want to be quite easily oh spirit is have me going to a couple of things now i'm hearing mask on 
mask off by one of those. Was it who who did that? I can't remember if it was like a combined the trio or if it was just one individual person. But this their energy is definitely coming up in here. So uh, mask on, mask off. That was either the Migos or it was just like one of the three. Not sure who. Um, but spirit is also acknowledging that we're getting into some very deep shit right now. Okay, you guys. Now we're talking about some stuff that. I'm not going to lie. I feel uncomfortable um, saying and feeling. So I'm going to do my best to get through it and just respect the downloads. But we're getting into shapeshifters. We're getting into people who, who do some weird shit, okay, in the Holly Weird game. Sometimes we need to wear different hats just to be accepted or to fit into any given situation or what is presented to us in life. This card is giving you the confidence to say you have the right energy and adaptability to do so. You may also be a natural clown able to make people laugh or cry as if wearing a mask and giving you control without difficulties. This is a natural tribute to have as you are able to mask your real emotions and through humor cross a boundary of social acceptance representing what people would like to do or say themselves. This car, okay. So Spirit is saying that they want me to clarify the car. I'm going to clarify the car. <laughs> All right, Kim Porter, clarify this car. Calling on that energy moving in love and light. Thank you. Okay. So she's acknowledging that this person, this energy, she did have a friendship with and an appreciation for this person and the worthiness and caring and devotion and, and playful teasing on the back. She is acknowledging that she is grateful and thankful to be a, like, anytime you hear me read on this card, I'm glad I got out of it. I'm glad I got through it. I'm glad I got past it because they're now able to kind of see things in hindsight. Hindsight is 2020. It's a different kind of vision now and they're thankful. They're in nature. They're slowing down. They're experiencing good times now that they've got out of it in the middle of the deck spirit is acknowledging that she could have been pregnant with this person's child i see a pregnant belly there is a manifestation but she's acknowledging there's a lot of emotion she is protected um and there's a lot i mean some solar plexus energy so things that are happening are because of her intent her energy that's where she's pushing it but she's also acknowledging that there was fertility and there was growth and warmth and succor and and new beginnings and belief and abundance and now this energy is very interesting because now she's saying that she has more power than she had in the physical realm and now she has even more power it's like a, ra a radiating kind of energy like now i can do this and now i can do that kind of energy okay i say to the ancestors i say to the universe one more message Mm -hmm. She says, okay, 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 thank you, spirit, okay, wow, I respect it, thank you, mm -hmm. okay, wow, I'm just trying to wait to spirit say stop, y'all, okay, if you know me, you know me, you know how I'll be doing it, okay, let's just start from the top, it's a lot of chords, Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Spirit is acknowledging that there must be a water sign or it could be just, you know, emotional. But she's saying there's a treasured objective to her participation in this. Remember I said that she had participation, that she feels like she has a lot of power now. Um, and she's acknowledging that there are mountains in the background that this person, whomever this is towards, and we'll get into it, but there's a boat here and she, the boat is still and the boat is stilled and stalled now. She's saying because they want you to seek reflection and have accountability that there is a treasured objective as to why the water is very, you know, calm and cool, that there is a deeper meaning there's a treasured objective there's a purpose and there is assistance okay in regards to that spirit is also acknowledging that in the area of communication passion and love this is being stomped into whomever this is like you created your own ripple you created this and now there's memories now there's visits i'm visiting you because you did this there's a past connection. So now she's allowing me to feel, understand, like, we have a, I have a connection to this person, okay? And their life is blowing up a storm, and guess what? Mine's did, too. And it put me in alignment, and this law was like, uh, I, it's, I can't, let me try to get it together. There's this phrase, like, do unto others how you would have them do unto you. It's like, um... Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's these little phrases that are coming to mind. Like, 
It's the big payback, okay? Strong momentum, sudden change, necessary shake of transformation and hope. And I don't know exactly what's happening here, but she's saying this person has a lot of communication, communicates a lot. It's a lot of communication around this person right now, too. And it has to do with um, all these emotions. This person is uh, kind and tender, charming, beautiful, a flirt, and a delicious experience. And now it's... The cat pouncing on the mouse. And I've always said this when this card comes out. That we're in the realm of choice. And you know you have a choice to do what you think is best. Um, but this is unbeknownst to someone else. So it's layered. You don't know and I didn't know. You didn't know it was going to happen. And guess what? Neither did I. Neither did I. And it was all done for the layer on the cake. You, you see what I'm saying? To, to give you another layer on the cake. To make you feel accomplished. To make you feel triumphant. To make you feel confident. To give you the accolades and the fame. Interesting. Okay, she says, but God does not like ugly. That there's going to be nastiness, clash, and strife in his energy field. Because now it is, it is very direct. We know who we're talking about, okay? Grudge and revenge for pulling me into your emotional depth. And, and, and. Turning me inside out, literally offering me adder and intimacy and a proposal as a message of love, but actually drowning me in your emotions. Could be a water sign, could be emotional, um, but also acknowledging that this person needed to get grounded. They move like the wind, any which way the wind blows. Could be an air sign, poor manners, lack of tact, discourtesy, impoliteness, social grace is required. She is looking at this situation and... It deals her pickle. Totally content. It's a yes, success, which is granted mastery. Joyous resolution because you got too big for your britches. You started to get messy with the wilted flower here because of your arrogance, your vanity, your self-importance, being high and mighty. Modesty is needed. She's also acknowledging that she's throwing th uh, three sheets to the wind. Three is important. I don't know what the significance of three is, but three is very important. She's like three, three, three don't understand um but at the heart of it she wants peace is a swirl of communication there is spiritual intervention here trying to get grounded um a candle acknowledging divination and so this is the thing that spirit is saying this this card the the download is this card was before she left this earth i don't know what was going on here but she's acknowledging like before i left this realm this was my energy Blowing off steam, rebellion, merriment, overindulgence, and trying to escape. And then being silenced. Thank you, spirit. And then being silenced. Silence, discretion, contemplation, equanimity, consideration, and privacy. Even being told to be quiet about her wanting to throw three, three sheets to the wind. Do you understand? Like wanting to be done with it. Wanting to expose it. Wanting to get rid of it. And then someone else requiring her to be private. So now we have a come to Jesus moment. You see how one hand is coming up and the other hand is reaching down. It's like now it's time for truthful communication, integrity, divine intervention. Surrender. Surrender. Spirit said lay your burdens down. Wow, that was a lot. And there's still more. Let's just shuffle it up because she's like, there's something else in the middle of the deck. And these cards pop back out, you guys. I mean, it's the same thing as this person who's a delicious experience pouncing on others unbeknownst to them for fame and for accomplishment and for accolades. And God doesn't like ugly. There's going to be clash and strife in this energy field because he takes people into his emotional abyss, sending them on a, with a message of love, but really, really drowning them, hurting them. Okay? hurting them because this person is low vibrational, lower level, poor manners, lack of tact, discourtesy, and politeness, and social grace is required. Everything is ringing, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, wow. Next deck. <laughs> Kim Porter, current energy. What's the tea, mommy? What's the tea, ma'am? Sis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
it's a lot of conversation. Like, this energy is very, very, very ready to talk. Like, no, no shit. I, okay. Promiscuous. This energy she's acknowledging is, is this person sleeps around as a hoe, free for all, and sleeps with your man. And listen, she said what she said, sleeps with your man. And she said, and I hate nothing about you. I hated nothing about you. I accepted you for who you were. Okay. She said, but now she's brainstorming and problem solving. There's this energy that she is so much more powerful where she is right now. Hmm. And she's brainstorming because she's acknowledging that be careful. They both look the same. Salt or sugar looks can be deceiving. And this person is now under a spiritual attack because of that energy right there. Like I see you now. There's a spiritual attack. Okay. And they're trying to fight off the negative energy. They're in a spiritual warfare, but they need to clear their energy. She says that she was betrayed. Deceit, backstab, traitor, and this person is not to be trusted. And now this person is all in their feelings. They're over it and they're tired of the drama. They're considering, you know, looking at everybody as a fake friend. She said, you already know the tea. Why are you asking me? You already know the tea. I'm just asking politely, right? This person continues to get caught up, finding evidence, and getting caught cheating. Look at this, okay? She said, you know who it is. And now Spirit is asking me to be more um, clear with the person that I think we're talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sh shaking it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh. Okay. So I'm going to take these back because I want to say the name. Because I, I feel the energy, but I want to say the name. Okay. So we're talking about Sean um, Corda. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And she's acknowledging like they had a baby before. There's something else coming. There's a new expect uh, 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 expecting um, new beginnings. There's some he needs to be on. Look, there's something else coming. Okay, she's not done, but she is acknowledging like this was a part of what they've done before. Okay, and she said total drama and action. Like let's let's watch this. This person needs to check themselves. They are fighting for what they love and they're claiming what's theirs. Love is a battlefield. Lots of arguments and fights around this energy. She said this person is being investigated. And um, now there's a break in the contract. She's acknowledging. Now the contracts are going to... Once he's under investigation, there's going to be a lot of breaks in the contract. This person is going to be seeking anger management. This person has a lot of envy. And this person is very depressed. This person needs to chill out. And, he is, and the people are watching this shit go down and enjoying the gossip. Okay. This person. Sean. Thank you. All right. So... Since we're tiptoeing over there, let's just stay over there. Um, Kim, how do you see Sean? Um, also known as Puff Daddy. Sean Combs. Sean Combs. How do you see him? Oh, okay. She sees him as the therapist in reverse. Frustration, not open to advice, traumatization, self-destruction, rejection, back, shame, boiling point, guilt, feeling ignored, lack of support, crisis, fears, ego, issues, mental health issues, suppressing feelings, making excuses. Now, this is interesting because she wants me to pay attention to something. She wants me to pay attention to this crown. I don't know why. You guys help me out. She also wants me to pay attention to this. The fact that his arms make these triangles, I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. Kim Porter's current energy. Okay, wait. Okay, hold on. This is a very interesting read because y'all know I just be doing my thing, my thing, and now it's coming. She's like, I want to say something to my kids because I'm about to end it. So maybe that's energy is like she about to stop. What does Kim Porter want to say to her children? Thank you. 
We do get fertility in reverse. And I don't want to turn this card around because three, for some reason, is important to her. And it just keeps coming out. Three. You lack conviction in your decision making. You are hesitant to make a move. If it doesn't come effortlessly, what is, what's the use in being forceful? Exert your energy toward assisting your dreams. Ask yourself, what is most important to me? What do I want to produce? Inevitably, you will make the right choices when you prioritize better. She's sending out a message for them to follow their aspirations, to lay down a foundation for fertile grounds, to grow something beautiful out of what is getting ready to transpire. She is asking them to sow good seeds. Like she's like, I have to say that. And moving into my tarot deck, there's more. Okay, so what's the message to your children? Thank you. With the full card, she says new beginnings, a free spirit. Look at life with eyes wide open. You're getting ready to go on a journey. You know, be careful, pay attention. But she's acknowledging it's going to be some new beginnings. She's also acknowledging that they may be moving um, with the three of wands, fire sign energy. So prepare, have foresight, seek um maybe even moving overseas like to get away from this situation that is about to um happen there is an older sibling that might take in the younger siblings with the hermit card she's also acknowledging that they're getting ready to go through what is called a, a soul searching kind of energy like going into hermit mode to find a deeper meaning of self she's acknowledging that they are still young but they are prepared and ready for it because this is the life that they chose essentially um and she's there she's acknowledging see the mountains in the back background but around all this purple thank you spirit there's this solar plexus energy third eye so there there she wants them to follow their intuition she wants them to follow the light she wants them to have a fiery passion for the future um but she's acknowledging that they might be feeling like they're going to be alone here in a sense or even literally may be alone um but to follow their inner light their inner guidance um she's also acknowledging with the page of pentacles that they have a great inheritance that they're still going to deal with ups and downs right but there is a family inheritance established for them so financially they should be okay emotionally she wants them to find balance she wants them to be patient and she wants them to focus on the, the purpose of life like if she can help in any way she will um, she's also acknowledging with the four of cups that this is emotional but she wants them to you know because she feels like they're going to be very bored and very um, they don't want to like you know how someone's just like I don't want to deal with it she doesn't want them to be closed off you see how the arms are crossed at the solar plexus and also at the heart chakra she feels like this is going to weaken them to some extent but they are leaning on the tree thank you spirit and she feels like that she is their tree she feels like she is their their strong post their pillar and so they are leaning on spirit and she's trying to give them ideas and gift them things you know from her realm she's trying to show them to 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 contemplate and not to give up to see life um, as a glass full and not half empty. I don't know. I, I want to, I want to give respect. Thank you, spirit. Respect to the message. Okay. Um, now Kim Porter, current energy. She is acknowledging that there is some jealousy and some moodiness and some unrealistic energy in this energy field around the king of cups in reverse. And subconsciously, this person is thinking about harmony, marriage, happiness, and alignment, but that's not the case because it's unrealistic. Like, on the surface, you've got a lot of things going against you. Um, but subconsciously, this person is thinking about happiness and marriage and good times. In the middle of the deck, she's acknowledging with the page of pentacles that this was all about wealth and inheritance and chasing the bag and getting the bag. And that's what this was about. She thought that this was about marriage. Thank you, spirit, and a family and longevity when in all actuality, this person was just about money. Um, current energy towards Sean Combs. Thank you. Um, judgment. 
judgment. It's time for him to have judgment. It's time for absolution. It's time for him to be called to the front. Um, <laughs> a rebirth, an inner calling, an awakening. Um, time for him to look at himself. Look at the man in the mirror, Spirit of Sam. In the middle of the deck, I mean, on the bottom of the deck, so consciously, she feels like um, he needs to get into alignment. There needs to be harmony. The rainbow is, a, is alignment for me. Like it's time to, to, to let go. In the middle of the deck, she's acknowledging that he's burdened with the Ten of Wands in the area of passion, but also in the area of business. Um, it's a lot of hard work. He's carrying a load. She's also acknowledging with the Five of Pentacles that he's going to feel isolated here in a minute. He's going to have financial loss, worry, poverty, and insecurity. Now, allegedly, people say that he had to do, had a hand in her death. Thank you, Spirit. Allegedly, did Puff Daddy have anything to do with your death? Not the death car comes out. <laughs> okay. So with the page of swords, um, air sign energy, um, this car says yes. Okay. So, I mean, talkative, curious, mental, restless, energetic. This was somebody's idea. They came in quick. They came in strong. It happened fast. Um, and then we have the death card, which acknowledges death endings and look at this woman on the floor on the ground as the horse rides over her um these people are praying um but endings change transformation and transition it happened quickly this was some ice thought out plan that's what she say in the middle of the day with the queen of cups she is acknowledging um okay she is acknowledging uh, that this, I don't know, the feeling that's coming out, I'll just tell you what the feeling is coming out. It's cool. That's all right. You know, emotional security, calm and compassionate. She's still very compassionate, still a very compassionate person with the Queen of Cups. Uh, with the Justice card, she is acknowledging that there will be justice um, because there's cause and effect. There will be balance. The pendulum will swing in that direction, the opposite direction. And she's thinking this through, too. Um, with the Star card, she is hopeful. There is some Aquarius energy on this. Uh, she's spiritual. Um, she's trying to bring balance. And it's interesting because there's two cups here, two cups there. Choices. I see stars. I see mountains in the background on both of these cards. But this is all just about spirituality and hope and serenity that there will be balance so she's patient that there will be balance um kim porter what's the message for the collective um okay uh what's that lady's name okay i'm gonna give me give me one second because i gotta think kimora all right there's a message to kimora from kim thank you um, she's acknowledging that, come on, you're going to get some bad luck. Um, and there's, I don't, I, psh, don't ask me why. With the Wheel of Fortune, she's like negative, out of control. You about to get yours. There's something that Kimura needs to pay attention to because it's coming. And she, it feels like, see, the Justice card. There will be balance and truth and fairness. Cause and effect. I don't know what you did to this one, but she said, you're going to get yours too, sis. You're going to get yours too. See? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's going to test your faith, Kimora. She said, You're going to need to have courage and persistence and resilience. And it has to do with the lover's card. What's going on here? A relationship, choices. Now, I don't know if she's saying that this has to pertain to her necessarily. Or if she's just sending you a message, like, get ready. Okay. What's your final message to the collective, Kim? Hmm. 
Okay. Because. Okay. She's like, be a leader. Have clear vision. Focus on entrepreneurship. Let's move. Like, let's go. It's like, yeah. Let's, 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 let's grab life by the horns. And she's saying, go. Have willpower. Be assertive. Be determined in this realm. You know, full steam ahead. Go for it. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, that, that ignites your fire, do it. Do it. She's also acknowledging um, with the Six of Cups that life is very nostalgic and it comes with a lot of memories and innocence and nostalgia um, to nurture your inner child. Like, don't forget to nurture your inner child. But this is also about children. Like, I think she just how innocent children were um, as well. All right, and in the middle of the deck, we do get the Queen of Swords in reverse. Virgo energy is on here, and she's acknowledging that this world can be malicious and cold-hearted. So, you know, nurture your inner child. Have emotional balance. Don't be overly emotional. Don't be mean. Don't be cold-hearted because the world, you know, can can do that. It can be that way as well. So it feels like she's like master self, master emotions. You know what I'm saying? Be compassionate. Um, emotional security. See? Calm. Be calm. Look at life as the glass full. Like, you know, it just, she just keeps saying that a lot of water sign energy. She could be a water sign. It's just acknowledging that it's an emotional thing for her. You know what? In spirit is, it's a lot. It's a lot. She's a very compassionate and emotional person. And spirit is also just acknowledging like anytime she wants to come back, she can come back. You know what I'm saying? And it feels like once he is dealt with, she, she, she will feel the safety and the security to do so in her own way. All right, but her energy is very big, very bright, very vibrant. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.